boat carrier J.S. Loire has arrived. Rain and fog delayed her departure by four days. The overdue load is 55,000 tons of wood pellets, vital fuel for the mammoth Drax power station, the UK's largest power plant. Each day, this plant generates almost 7% of the UK's electricity needs. Down on the quay side, crane operator Gary Carpenter is in charge of the unload. Gary is reliant on an oversized vacuum cleaner called a Continuous Ship Unloader, or CSU for short. The CSU is a massive 500-ton sucking machine. Its tube reaches down into the hold of the ship, and like a giant corkscrew, it spins around, drinking up the pellets. To meet his deadline, Gary needs to suck up 1,350 tons of pellets an hour. They go straight onto a conveyor belt, covered to protect them from the British climate. They're, uh, I think, about seven million pound piece of kit, so you've got to be pretty on the ball what you're doing. The pellets will need to ride a train to the power station. Do you want to come this way? which is another 35 miles away. Gary Johnson is in charge of loading. The train comes through, 0.5 mile an hour, put the chute down. It takes just over half an hour to load enough pellets to fuel a Drax tower for four hours. The process is automated. To increase efficiency, the train doesn't actually stop. It just travels slowly enough so that each wagon is filled by the time it has passed through the loading bay. Gary is there to watch over the process, ready to offer a human hand if machine fails. My job is to make sure that the doors open. If the doors don't open, I have to stop the train. And when it's gone that way, I have to make sure the doors are shut so it doesn't get wet. All 24 wagons on the 1,600-foot-long train are now loaded. And just 40 minutes later, the pellets have reached Drax Power Station. 